But right now, Scranton finds itself down two with only 15 seconds left. Let's see what Lindsay Fleur can do here. If they don't score, it's likely her last moment in a Lady Rose uniform. Lindsay Fleur being hounded. She drives, kicks it out to Alizea. She turned the ball over. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. McBride with the steal. And Lindsay Fleur and the Lady Rose beginning to show signs of being upset here. Unbelievable. The all-time leader in assists for the Lady Rose turns the ball over in the most crucial moment of the season. Yeah, you think McBride wasn't feeling upset about missing that free throw and giving Scranton a, another chance. You're crazy. What a great play by the defensive player of the year, just showing why and how good she is on the defensive side of the ball and how smart she is to read that pass from floor. What a great play on all, on all aspects from, from McBride there defensively. Keep in mind, though, the game is not over yet. Let's see what McBride can do here in a one and one she missed again. Romer with the rebound. Outlets to Lindsay Fleur. She tries to push it. She puts up a shot at the buzzer. No good. And the Warriors will advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Denise Burley on the court as the team celebrates in center court. And the Lady Royals have ended their season in disastrous form. Unbelievable end to Meredith Maceres, Lindsay Fleur, and Leah Descazio's careers. They cannot believe it, and I can't either. Wow, what an upset. And it seems like it's disaster two weekends in a row for the Lady Royals losing by one point in the Landmark Conference Championship and now by two points in the NCAA first round.